my god. Coffee! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, here's a little tip and trick. I love my lens hoods. And, of course, I bought the new... Don't you love how it folds down? The lens hood folds down on the new 50mm uh, uh, Fujifilm. Um, when I was mounting this thing, a lot of lens hoods are like this. Uh, especially on the Nikon. So, uh, this one also, too. There are uh, little uh, plastic uh, leaves right here, which are somewhat fragile. And after a good bit of uh, torsion, they will snap. Um, so to make your lens hood not only last longer, but to get them on and off really easy. You know kind of how, like, uh, for sex... <laughs> Uh, there's this neat stuff called lubrication. It kind of makes things uh, run a little bit more smoothly. You know, the kind of the same way uh, your car works. Um, get some Teflon grease. Not oil, but grease. And uh, you see how... Listen to that. You see how smoothly? It's just like smoother than frog fur now. It's just like the wax crotch of a, a supermodel. <laughs> Uh, this sucker was so tight, I thought I was going to break the damn thing getting it on and off when I first mounted it. I mean, when I mounted it, it was like, ah! And when I got it off, I could not get the damn thing off. I just felt like I was going to tear it right off the lens. Now it is just smooth as silk. What you do, there's some grooves right in here. Nikon, Canon, everybody suffers this damn issue. Because these lens hoods are expensive. And you want them to last. And they do have little fragile bits right in here. You can actually see it, the little plastic leaves that are part of the mount system, what you do is you just take like a half a drop, or even less than a half a drop of, I get Teflon grease, it's Tetra grease, it's a white pasty grease, it's made out of Teflon, it doesn't uh, migrate, so it's never going to get on your lens or any sort of crap like that, just rub a little bit on your finger and like rub that into the grooves, okay, wipe off the excess, continue to rub it in a little bit, and that'll basically last for the life of the lens, so it'll go from really, really, really rough to... Just smooth as silk. So there is your uh, photography tip of the day to make your lens hoods mount and dismount very easily and make them last longer so they don't break. Get some uh, grease, preferably uh, Teflon grease. That stuff is incredibly useful. Let me get it over here. Let me reach for it. Yes, yes, let me reach for it. Here we go. You can find it on eBay. You can get a tube of it for like four bucks. This is infinitely useful for all sorts of stuff. It is magical grease which contains Teflon. I would not recommend using this for intercourse, however. I've not tried it for that. Maybe so. No, don't use it for that. Uh, <laughs> so there's your photography tip of the day. Smear some grease on the inside grooves of your lens hoods. Okay. Mm okay. Why does it, you see, some of the neat stuff of photography is like, well, that's pretty mundane. And then people try it. It's like, oh my God, that works so good. Why doesn't anybody else give out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of little tips like that? Like I do, but nobody else does that. Why, let me, let, let's ruminate over that one for a second. I don't have an answer. I so desperately did not want to buy this lens, but it turns out to be such a good lens that I was forced to buy it. I had a couple of people when I said that yesterday in a video, some people said, you're a lens slut. And I'm like, yes, yes, little Timmy, I am. LS, lens slut. LSE, lens slut extraordinaire. Ta-da! Thanks so much. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Tell me you jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever tickles your pickle. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you later. Bye.